Hello history buffs and animal enthusiasts. In this episode, we're winding back the clock to Victorian England, a time when the bustling streets weren't just teeming with people, they were also inundated with rats. This is the story of John Gaunt and his extraordinary rat catching team of animals. John Gaunt was also known as John Wilden and he worked as a rat catcher for Midland Railway, travelling up and down the lines. During this time, rats were considered a serious health hazard, so John had an eclectic team of animals to help him, which included foxes, dogs and cats. These animals played a crucial role in controlling the rat population at the time because the rats often carry diseases, they were also a threat to the food supplies and considered a symbol of the unsanitary conditions. John's work wasn't just seen as a job, it was considered a battle against a public health crisis. And such were the successes of John's animals in dispatching rats, he quickly gained a name for himself as a great sportsman and Englishman. That's because John is said to have been the only person known to successfully train foxes to rat for economical purposes. And it's even claimed that the foxes outperformed the terrier dogs in rounding up the rats as the foxes could hold up to five rats in their mouths at once. The animal team used their collective skills to assist John. The foxes with their keen sense of smell could sniff out the rats hidden in the most obscure of corners. The cats were agile and stealthy, a perfect combination for quick strikes. And the terrier dogs were said to be tenacious and fearless, ideal for the final rat catch. However, reports suggest that while the foxes were excellent at locating and rounding up the rats, they were slow to finish the job, meaning John would have to quickly dive in to assist. According to some reports, two of John's best foxes were accidentally unalived by gamekeepers, yet John continued his work with his animal team for many years. And whilst John is a figure that is now almost lost to history, his unique alliance with Foxes, cats and terriers showcases the remarkable ways we can collaborate across species and a testament to the deep connections that have always been part of our shared history.